take this opportunity to thank the real hero here, the man of the hour, Mikhail Alvinov. Come on up here. Come on. Mr. Alvinov was working as a window washer. He was on the sixth floor of the Berkman building when he noticed the suspect. And I see uh, a green station wagon, and he's circling around uh, Jefferson Square, and it goes a couple times, and then he stops, and the man gets out, and something, it, it, it don't look right. He's nervous, and he opens the door, and I see the pickaxe. So I uh, write down the license number 447 PCE, and I give this to uh, police. I'm sure that anyone could have done this, but I'm glad it was me. <laughs> nice shooting, nice grouping. Bunk, what are you doing? Just clean it up for you. Leave the shells, Monk. Leave the shells, Monk. Safety first, right? Monk, leave the shells. You know what, I'll get those later. What the hell are you doing here? It's about Mikhail Alvanov. Who? The window washer, you know, the guy who got the reward. What about him? Well, his story doesn't track. Listen, he said he was on the seventh floor of the Bergman building at 2.30, looking west. Well, I went back up there during lunch. You were probably wondering where I was. No. Yeah, well, now you know. I was up there at 2.30, looking west. The sun was directly in my eyes. So he was wearing sunglasses. No, 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 no. He said he read the license plate. I have 20-20 vision. I couldn't read anything from the seventh floor. Nothing. Monk, the guy's tip was righteous. Huh? The pickaxe killer's in jail. He confessed. We have the murder weapon. He found pieces of his victims in his attic. Yeah, no, no, no. I know, I know the tip was good. So what are you saying? He's lying, okay? The window washer's lying, that's all. Look, I think I know what's going on here. You're jealous. A big super detective. You can't stand the fact we didn't need you. Nah, uh, that's not it. Monk, look. You got what, 17 open cases on your desk? 19. I'm giving you an order. Hmm? Forget the window washer and let it go. OK, you're right. I'm letting it go. Wait, I can't let it go. Let it go! OK, there it is. It's gone. I feel better. Thank you. Russell DeMarco, did you know him? I met him once, my first day back. He's a rookie, still on traffic duty, poor kid. What do you think he was doing here? Well, he lives nearby in Crestmont Village, about a mile away, he's probably heading home. Heading home? This is a shortcut, you can cut right through the parking lot. And then what? I don't know, maybe he saw something, something going down and he stopped. Did he call it in? He didn't get a chance. What's that? Looks like a... Coupon, 30 cents off hearty chow dog food. He didn't follow the line. You see the dotted line there. Well, not everybody's you, thank God. Do you have a dollar? It's the same size. As a payoff, that's what he was doing here. Somebody was paying DeMarco off, or that's what DeMarco thought. He cut up newspaper to dollar-sized pieces to make it look like cash. Why? To distract him, to put him off guard. And then they shot him. Or he had a dog, and he just wanted to save 30 cents. It's a payoff. Monk, come on. Look, the captain's yeah. gonna be here in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. I wanna get this straight. You saying this kid is dirty? It would explain everything, why his safety is still on and his gun is holstered. I'm not saying you're wrong. You might be right. But here's what I am saying. Until you're sure, until you're 110%, hmm, you're to shut your face. Do you understand that? You're on this side of the blue line now, Detective Monk. That kid is family. So I'm gonna ask you one more time. Are you 110%? No. And button it. Hey, why don't you just jump? Three floors, you'd only break your leg. No! No! Fourth floor, broken back. Oops, too late. 
Now you're dead. <laughs> How did you know? I saw, I saw DeMarc, ticket book. You didn't spot that till your kill. DeMarco did. He, he solved the case. He spotted the killer's car and realized he had just found the most wanted man in California. DeMarco didn't care about fame. He was after the fortune and the reward money. He had a problem, he worked for the police force, which were, if he wasn't eligible to collect the reward. He needed a partner, a front man, and that's where you came in. And he told you who the killer was, and all you had to do was come up with a story and collect the money. But you, you wanted, you wanted the whole reward all to yourself. <laughs> Well, not that it matters much, but uh, you're right. I think this will do. You know, I don't know why you insist to come up with me today. Accidents are pretty common up here. It's very dangerous work, especially in such a high wind. What, what are you doing? I'm murdering you, my friend. It's jungle out there Disorder and confusion everywhere No one seems to care Well, I do Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out there